Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Black Box, the directorial debut of Emmanuel Ose Kufor, uh, which premiered on Amazon Prime October 6, 2020. It's part of a, it's part of a quartet of titles uh, that are part of an experience called Welcome to the Blumhouse, with two films premiering on the 6th and two other ones uh, the week after. This was, I thought, a great discovery because uh, we so uh, rarely see genre films that are predicated on black characters, uh, predominantly black cast, uh, headlined by Mamadou Ate, who plays Nolan, a man who's been in a terrible accident. He's lost his wife and any semblance of himself. He has absolutely no memory of his previous life, which has made it very difficult for his young daughter, Ava, who's about six or seven years old, to uh, try to help him out. She's basically parenting him. He also has a physician friend, Gary, um, and he's lost out on a new uh, professional opportunity. He used to be a photographer, but he can't sell his photographs anymore because his creative instinct, his creative eye, is also apparently gone as well. Uh, so Gary says, you know, you should see that neurologist who's been aggressively begging to see you, uh, Dr. Lillian Brooks, played by Felicia Rashad, who is uh, I, I think phenomenal casting, of course, because we're so familiar with her uh, as the iconic Claire Huxtable. Uh, so she's a very warm, inviting presence, but also one that ends up being a little bit like Dr. Frankenstein. Uh, as we're going through that trajectory, uh, he goes in for her experimental technique, which is basically hypnosis with this VR device that she calls the black box, which allows her to dip into his subconscious and then uh, basically memory linking whatever he can remember. Uh, and of course, he, he does fall into some memories, but all the faces he sees in them are blank. And then there's this weird creature with cracking bones that's approaching him and keeps scaring him out of the memory. Um, I will leave it there because uh, there's some significant twists that happen, but Mamadou uh, Ate, who uh, was also equally uh, great in Uncorked, which premiered on Netflix earlier this year in March, uh, ph phenomenal job of pivoting. There's one particular scene where he pivots um, emotionally uh, from a place of poignance to kind of a rage and abuse, where the, t the, sh the whole uh, tone of the film shifts from this kind of genuine dramatic film to a, uh, a horror thriller, if you will. Um, the technology, of course, is a, a little vague. It's not that, it, and it doesn't have to be that well attenuated, which reminds me of old B sci fi films from the 50s. Uh, it's also a contraption, a conception that was used in something like Total Recall. Uh, I think Brandon Cronenberg's recent Possessor is also uh, an interesting point of comparison about battling psyches, if you will, and um, there are some comparisons to get out because the visualization of his subconscious is like the sunken place as well. Um, Atai and Rashad, I think, are worth the uh, price of admission alone. Uh, I liked a lot of the terminology in the scripts. Uh, there's something about digital voodoo, uh, which I thought was quite inspiring. It was written by Stephen Herman and Wade Allen Marcus, who of course is a character on Insecure. Uh, overall, uh, I would give this three and a half out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.